Hello, and this is my bracket for 2013 NCAA tournament. Uh, we're just gonna go through each region, and I'll show you what happened. My bracket uh, in the Midwest region, not much uh, going different from anybody else. Uh, I have Louisville winning that uh, region pretty easily, but they're gonna win their first round. Uh, I have Mizzou beating Colorado State in a nine over eight. Oregon upsets Oklahoma State. I think they got snubbed as a 12 seed, so they're going to win there. Uh, St. Louis takes care of New Mexico State. Memphis beats whoever they'll get in the round. Michigan State takes care of Alpo. Uh, Cincy takes care of an overrated Creighton team besides Doug McCrick or whatever, McDermott. Uh, and Duke takes care of Albany. Uh, in the next round, I think Louisville takes care of Missouri. Uh, St. Louis beats Oregon. Um, Michigan State over Memphis and Duke over Cincinnati and then we go to the Sweet 16 Louisville takes care of a hot St. Louis team and it'll be a close game a great matchup uh, of those two teams and Michigan State takes down Duke which sets up the Elite Eight between Louisville and Michigan State they met in the 2009 Sweet 16 and this time Louisville gets back at Michigan State and they go to the Final Four from the Midwest region uh, but Michigan State is a sleeper team in that bracket as, uh, whoops, kind of went down there. But yeah, Michigan State could be um, in a sleeper team in that bracket. Now we go to the West region. Um, Gonzaga, I'll talk to you about Gonzaga in a minute, but I have them going in the Final Four, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Pitt beating Wichita State, Wisconsin taking care of Ole Miss, Kansas State over whoever, Arizona, New Mexico, Notre Dame over Iowa State, good matchup there, and Ohio State takes care of Iona. Second round, Gonzaga beats Pitt, Wisconsin takes care of Kansas State. I like the way Wisconsin's playing with Bruss, Trayvon Jackson, and Evans, Bruce Witz, and them. Uh, New Mexico, really hot team, I like them. Over Arizona and Ohio State, just won the Big Ten tournament over Notre Dame. Um, Sweet 16, Gonzaga of Wisconsin, and New Mexico takes care of Ohio State, and then Gonzaga over New Mexico in, in the Elite Eight, and the reason I love Gonzaga is, I don't care if they play in a West Coast Conference, they have the best front court in the country, Kelly Olenek could be the, the player of the tournament if Gonzaga wins it all, Elias Harris, Sam Dower averages like double-double off the bench. Uh, Kevin Pango is David Stockton as their guards. Uh, they have a bunch of other players. I can't remember everybody on their team, but they have some really good players on that basketball team, and they play hard, they play physical, and they play with class. Uh, and that's a team that you really got to like. If you've watched Gonzaga play, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Now we go up to the south region. Um, Kansas, the one seed. A little bit of a surprise. I thought Miami would be there, but oh well. Uh, they win easily. Carolina takes care of Villanova. VCU over Akron. Michigan. Minnesota upsets UCLA because UCLA does not have a Abrams, their guard. Uh, Florida, San Diego State, and Georgetown win their games in the first round. Uh, second round, Kansas over Carolina. VCU will cause that bat that front court of Michigan with Berg and Hardaway and Stoskis. They'll cause a lot of turnovers. I think they'll win. Uh, Florida takes care of Minnesota and Georgetown over San Diego State. Uh, Sweet 16, Kansas over VCU. Uh, and then Georgetown over Florida, which sets up the Elite Eight with Georgetown and Kansas. And I think Georgetown with Otto Porter, they are a better team than Kansas. I think they'll take care of the Jayhawks and go to their first Final Four in a while. Overall, this is a pretty good bracket, a pretty good region. I like the teams in this region. I think VCU could be um, an upset team in that region, so we'll see. And now the last region, the East region with Indiana. People thought it would be number one overall seed, but obviously they're not. Um, Indiana, North Carolina State, good team. UNLV with Anthony Bennett. Syracuse, Butler over Bucknell, an interesting matchup. Marquette, Illinois, and Miami. Uh, will all win their first games. I think Illinois really surprised at a seven seed. Um, into the second round, Indiana takes care of NC State. It'll be a close game. Watch for that one. Uh, Syracuse with that zone over UNLV. Uh, I like Butler over Marquette, and this is why. Because I think they have a size advantage over Marquette. I think Marquette's a really good team, don't get me wrong. But I think Andrew Smith and Kyle Marshall will get 
good shots inside early, which will open up for Rodney Clark, Kellen Dunham, Chase Tegall on the outside. So I think Baltimore will win, and I think Miami with Shane Larkin. They're just so good. I think they're going to win over Illinois. And then the Sweet 16, Indiana over Syracuse. Their consistency of making threes and getting the ball inside to Zeller and all the depot drive. And I think they'll get by Syracuse. And I think Miami takes town. Butler in a really close game, which sets up, in my mind, the best Elite Eight matchup. There would be Miami, Indiana, I think, Larkin will just go off on the guards of Indiana, uh, and I think they're really going to take care of the Hoosiers, um, and not just Larkin, but the other players are big man, and their guards are just, I think, better than Indiana's. It will be a close game. Uh, IU will stay in it with their threes and Zeller and Oladipo, but they're just not good enough to beat Miami. So Miami goes to their first Final Four. And that that's gonna be a good region. I like that region. I think the West is probably the least depth, the most non depth region. I think the other three are very equally uh, stacked with teams. So that's that's the key for this for Gonzaga is they gotta take advantage of that region. I think Miami battle tested, uh same with Georgetown, same with Louisville. Uh, with Louisville, Miami winning their conference tournaments in Georgetown, losing an OT to Syracuse, and Gonzaga winning their math three uh, conference tournament champions in there. Um, and then you got the Final Four, Louisville and Gonzaga. I like Louisville a lot um, over Gonzaga and a close one. I think they all match. I think Jang versus Olenek will be a good matchup, but, uh, but I think Louisville wins. And then Georgetown and Miami. Otto Porter and Shane Larkin. I think Larkin and the Hurricanes get it done, and they go to the championship game. Um, and so that will set up a championship clash um, with Louisville and Miami, the two conference champions of the Big East and the ACC, uh, the two premier, two of the premier point guards in college basketball, Peyton Seo of Louisville, Shane Larkin of Miami, will go at it for 40 minutes. Russ Smith, and I can't remember the other guy from Miami, but those guys will go at it as well. But in the end, I think Miami wins the national championship in a close one. It goes in the 80s because both teams score a lot of points. And the reason I like Miami is just because, as you can see in the rest of my Final Four, uh, it, it, the, my, the, Louisville likes the zone and the press a lot. And I think... The reason they get so many turnovers, like VCU, because their guards are so in shape, they're so quick, they have, they use active hands, they're disciplined, but so are Miami's guards. I mean, they get by the ball, they're very quick, um, they they pass very well, and it, Louisville happened to zone Larkin, and those guys can hit threes. So I like, and they can get the ball in the high post and be able to get inside. So I like Miami in a close one, 84-83, somewhere around there in a high-scoring national championship game. And I like the Hurricanes to win the national championship over Louisville. Um, so if you have any questions or comments about my bracket, please leave them below on the page. Um, and then if you want to talk about Gonzaga or Butler or whoever you, you didn't like, especially for Gonzaga, uh, if you want to make a strong argument, please don't just say, oh, they play in the West Coast Conference. I don't really care. I mean, look at Butler. In 2010, they play, in 2011, they played in the Horizon League and they made the Final Four. I don't think conference strength really dictates how good of a team you are. So please leave comments below. And if you want to come with me statistics about why Gonzaga really isn't that good, comment and then we'll talk about it. So uh, my bracket 2013 hopefully will be the winning bracket. Uh, catch you later, YouTube.